Hello there, I'm Carl and this is Colin and we're here with Skype to talk about the UEFA Europa League final between Liverpool and Sevilla. Colin, it's great to meet you. Great to meet you too, Colin. Straight into it then. Looking at Sevilla's run to the final and their overall record this season, they've not been the strongest defensively. They conceded 50 in La Liga and there haven't been too many clean sheets along the way. How do you think Sevilla are going to cope with the Liverpool attack? which has so far managed to outscore Manchester United, Borussia Dortmund and Villarreal. I think for this match, we've got Tremolina, so I didn't get a left back. Um, so I think that's going to be a loss. Other than that, uh, the Sevilla defence, it's in pretty good shape recently. Obviously, it's going to be a test with Liverpool's attack with Daniel Sturridge as well, who's, who's starting to hit top form. So it's going to, it's going to be tough, but I think this, this is a game that will have lots of goals. And Carl, for yourself as well, I think Sevilla's probably have, you know, they've got a deadly counter-attack, there's a lot of pace going forward. How are Liverpool going to deal with that? Um, I think the main route to stopping that is to stop the supply line itself rather than trying to prevent Gamero getting his shots away. You just touched on it as well, Tremolinas is out at left back, so what do you think would be your preference and how do you think they'll line up? Will Escudero come in there or are they going to move across Kolodzijak and uh, play another central defender? It's it, it's a tough one. I would I would prefer to have Kolodzijak play at left back, but I think Emery's going to go with uh, Escudero. Well, from the point of view of all Liverpool fans, I can only hope that Escudero repeats his semi-final form. As, as I said, it, it's one of those things where they're very good going forward defensively. There's, there are question marks, but again, obviously with the final, it's going to be a, it's going to be in Basel. It's at a neutral venue. Both teams have, have relied heavily on, on their strong home form all season long. Liverpool have only won one of their seven away matches in Europe this season. So, how do you think that's going to affect the final? Since Klopp has been there. It's been much better, um, and I know we haven't picked up necessarily all the wins in, in the Europa League, but by contrast, I think if we look at Sevilla's away form and not having won a single league game all season long uh, in La Liga, that's probably something that Liverpool will think is, is more in their favour rather than uh, maybe just an away game for both. It, it's a massive match for both sides. Neither, neither is, is going to be in the Champions League next year before it winning the final. What is more important for Liverpool? Is it is it actually winning the trophy, the Europa League trophy, or is it getting into the Champions League and playing in that, at that level next season? In isolation, probably winning the trophy is more important. simple fact of the matter is that if Liverpool win the trophy, they also get into the Champions League and it's the group stage. So really a case of all or nothing now for both teams and, and they really can't afford to hold anything back in this game. Do you envisage Liverpool having any surprise team selections in there that they haven't maybe in the build-up to the final? Klopp rested all his major stars before uh, the final itself on the last game of the season. Liverpool didn't have too much to play for, uh, so we're expecting more or less the same lineup who went in against Villarreal. What do you think is going to be the uh, score at the end of the match? Let's have your predictions. I think the score now to the final is going to be... 2-1 to Sevilla. An interesting observation, and I know a lot of people who will be disappointed if that's the case, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to go against you. A 3-1 oh, win oh. to Liverpool. Oh, you're confident. You're confident. <laughs> you're the man who said there'd be a lot of goals, and I'm going to agree with you. <laughs> it's going to be close, and it's going to be a very entertaining match. Sure it will be. Thanks again to Skype for having the call with us. Thanks again for Colin for joining us. Feel free to let us know your own predictions as well.